Hey guys, today I want to show you how to crochet a pair of fingerless gloves for the Christmas. It's very cute and at the same time it's very easy to make. So let's go. For making it, you will need 4 mm crochet hook, darning needle, scissors, almost 30 gram red yarn and 10 gram white yarn for the ribbing. So in total, you should have three balls of yarn, one ball of yarn for the bottom ribbing and one ball of red yarn for the body and another smaller ball of uh, white yarn for the upper. So take your first ball of white yarn and make a slip knot. After that, chain eight. Okay, after we chained it for the bottom ribbing, we are going to change our color to the red. And start chaining 16 with the red yarn. And after that, we are going to... And after that, we are going to change color again to the white. So bring that smaller ball of white yarn and for the upper ribbing we are gonna chain two. Okay guys, basically our chains are done. So as you can see, this two chain is for the upper ribbing, this 16 chain with red is for our body, this eight chains is for our bottom ribbing. Okay, now chain one more, skip one chain and start your work from the second chain. And do two half double crochet with the white yarn. Now we are going to change color to the red. For changing color in the half double crochet, we are going to do yarn over, pull up a loop as the normal half double crochet. And as you can see, we have three loops in our hook. Now, take the red yarn and pull through all three loops. And in this way, we change color to the red. And now, we are going to do 16 half double crochet with our red yarn. After that, we are going to change color to the white again. So yarn over, pull up a loop, take the white yarn and pull through all three loops. Then continue doing comfortable crochet until the end of the row. Okay guys, our first row is done. Now chain one and turn your work. So for the second row, we are going to do 8 half double crochet, back loop only for the bottom ribbing. And as you can see, we have two loops in one stitch. So do 8 half double crochet, back loop only. Now we are going to change color to red again, but don't forget to bring the white yarn in one side of your project. So that side would be our wrong side. As you can see, this is the white yarn. So bring it to the wrong side of our project. Now take the red yarn and change color. 
Now do 16 half double crochet with red in the both loops. So basically we are gonna do half double crochet back loop only in the bottom ribbing. But in the other stitches we are gonna do half double crochet normally, not in the back loop. Okay, now we are going to change color to white again to crochet the upper ribbing. So change color and in this time also don't forget to bring the red yarn to the, to the wrong side of our project. Now do two half double crochet with the white. Okay guys, our second row is also done. Now chain one and turn your work. So for the row three until row 18, we are going to do exactly the same thing that we did in the second row. Two half double crochet with white, 16 half double crochet uh, with the red and eight half double crochet back loop only with white again. And don't forget that when you change color, bring the yarn to the one side of your project. So that would be our wrong side. Okay guys, we reach row 18. Now measure it around your hand like this. And if it's fit, it's okay. If it's not, you can add more rows. But for me, 18 row is okay. Okay, after the measurement, fasten off the yarn with almost a long tail. At the end, don't forget to fasten off this yarn, this yarn, and this yarn too. Okay guys, our rows is done. Now we are gonna join the side seams together by using these tails and darning needle. And we are gonna use the white yarn to join the white part and we are gonna use the red yarn to join our red parts. So take the white yarn And just normally sew one stage from one side to the another stage from the other side. So we just have two stage in the upper ribbing. After we join the two stage in the upper ribbing, weave it into the stitches and cut the yarn. So joining the upper ribbing is done. Now take the red yarn and insert it through your needle. And now sew three stitch of the red yarn. After we join three stitch of the red part, we are gonna skip four stitch 
because there should be a hole for our thumb so just skip the four stitch and don't join them together for doing that we are gonna weave in into the four stitch After that, continue joining the other red stitches together in the same way. Okay, our red stitches is also done. Now we went into the stitches and cut the yarn. And now we are gonna join the bottom ribbing together so take the yarn tail and just normally joining them together as we did before And at the end, we went into the stitches and cut the yarn. And weave in the other remaining tails exactly in the same way by using darning needle. Okay guys, our simple fingerless gloves are done. And um, if you don't want to add the little bow, you still have a really pretty gloves. But if you want to add the um, little bow in the top of your gloves, I already have a video to how to crochet a little bow only with chains i will put the link in the description or you can also find it in my channel so if you want to learn it how to do it step by step you can check the video in my channel and um, and if you are not a beginner um, basically our bow is just uh, 38 uh, chains and so 38 chains and we are going to shape a bow with the 38 chains but don't forget guys that if you crochet the bow from that video, don't weave in the last tail because we are going to use it to join the bow to our gloves. Okay guys, after crocheting the bow, we are going to join it to our gloves by using darning needle and this tail. And find the spot that you want your bow to be there and insert your needle in that place and just normally sew it in the air And at the end, weave in the tail 
into the upper ribbing because the upper ribbing is white so it matched the color with our tail. And cut the yarn. Okay guys, our cute gloves for the Christmas is done. And I really like it. I hope you like it too. If you have any question, let me know in the comments. Bye!